Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to find the product of two permutation in cycle form. We're given a permutation P and Q. First, we're going to write P and Q in cycle notation. P is a 8 cycle, 1, 6, 5, 2, 7, 3, 4, 8. And Q is a product of two discharge cycle, 1, 5, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 3, 7. And to find P and Q, we'll write P in front and Q behind. Right, P is 1, 6, 5, 2, 7, 3, 4, 8. And Q is 1, 5, 2, 4, 6, 8, then 3, 7. Now to find the product, I'm going to start with the number 1 and find the way it's the image of 1. And the P composed of Q. So I'm going to start from 1 from the back. We know that 1 is sent to 5 under Q. So move to the left and look for 5. And I see that 5 is sent to 2. There's no more 2 on the left. So write down the number 2. After finish writing down the 2, now I move all the way to the right and look for 2 now. So this time, at the very end, 2 sent to 4. Then I move to the left to look for 4. 4 is sent to 8. Then I move to the left and look for 8. Since there's no more 8 on the left, so I write down 8 after 2. After I write down 8 already, now I move all the way to the right and look for 8 now. So I find that on, on the very end, 8 is going to 1. Then I move to the left look for 1. I find that 1 is equal to 6. Then I move to the left look for 6. Since there are no more 6 on the left, so write down 6 after 8. After I finish writing down 6 already, I move all the way to the end and look for 6 now. So I know at the very end, 6 go to 8. Then I move to the left and look for 8. On the left look for 8, we find that 8 actually go to 1. So eventually, 6 is go to 1. Therefore, if 6 go to 1, I can close the cycle. Then, I can look for another number that is not appealing. So for example, I'm going to start with a cycle with begin with 3. So if I cycle begin with 3, let's look for 3 at the very end. We find that 3 go to 7. Then move to the left and look for 7. So I look for the left and look for 7. I find that 7 go to 3. Then move to the left and look for 3. Since there are no more 3 on the left, so write down 3 and see where we have 3 there. So 3 go to 3, we close the cycle. So we now look at another symbol that says 4. So I'm going to move to the very end, to the right, and look for 4. I know that 4 go to 6. I move to the left, look for 6, I find that 6 go to 5. Then I move to the left, look for 5. There's no more 5 on the left, so I write down 5. After I write down 5 already, I move all the way to the back, look for 5. And this time I find 5 goes to 2. On the left, I have 2 go to 7. Since there are no more 7 on the left, so I can write down 7 after 5. So 4, 5, 7. And then I'm going to move all the way to the back, look for 7 now. At the end, I find that 7 goes to 3. So I move all the way to the left, look for 3. I find that 3 goes to 4. There's no more 4 on the left. So I can write down 4 now. So I know 4 go to 5, 5 go to 7, 7 go back to 4. So therefore, the cycle close. Therefore, P composed with Q is equal to 1, 2, 8, 6, follow 1 cycle 3, and 4, 5, 7. Now, if you ignore the 1 cycle, P composed with Q is 1, 2, 8, 6, 
followed by a three cycle, four, five, seven. That is the end of the recording.